Hello everyone, in this video we're going to quickly demonstrate how to get started with build road and build a custom Linux from scratch for Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. Can you hear, can you hear, can you hear my voice? Let's begin by first cloning the build road repository by visiting buildroad.org. So here you can download the repository here. So let's go ahead and clone that first. So once the clone is completed, I will show the next steps. Cloning is complete. Now we are going to switch directly to build root. And first thing we are going to do is make a def config for build root. So we can find this directly at this link. So what we are going to do is go, we are going to do a def config for a Raspberry Pi 2. I'm doing this on purpose just to show the compatibility build root offers for legacy SBCs. So as you can see, the dev config is complete. Default configuration has a predefined configurations meant for that processor. So that's it. Now we can either go ahead and make, or you can customize it further by performing make menu config. So here you can find ample amount of options don't touch the target options but you can you, you can even skip the build options but you can go to the system configuration and change certain options like the uh, build default shell uh, do not touch that the root password currently keep it empty and you can even change the host name so this would be the name that's displayed when you boot up so I would say like and uh, I believe if you need to modify it further like target packages you want to add like for example you go to the graphics and you want to add SDL or Mesa 3D or a Linux Fusion driver if you are looking for more UI related build so you can mess around with the graphics and same applies to the development tool etc so uh, let's not worry about it a lot now let's go and save it and give make all so this might take some time depends on your system and uh, at the end of the build you will have an SD card image that you can directly then flash it onto your SD card. We'll resume once the build is completed. As you can see, the build has completed and image will be generated by now. Before we go ahead and flash the image onto the SD card, let's check the partition details. We can go and use gparter. And we can see the partition is this slash STC. So let me go to the output images. And you can see the SD image is generated. So let me do sudo input file is SD card, output file is this slash STC. So always ensure that you have the right partition and go ahead and hit enter. Based on the image size, this can take from a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes and also based on the SD card read write speed. So we will resume once the SD card has been flashed with the image. We have successfully flashed the SD card image to the SD card. 
Next we are going to insert the SD card to the Raspberry Pi and boot up the system. We have the SD card on the Raspberry Pi with the image which we built. I'm going to power on the Raspberry Pi. It's booting up. So let me switch to the monitor. So there you go. It's booting up with the boot progress. You should finally end up with the login screen. Or you can see the login shell. That's it. That's it. You're in. So that's all I had in this video. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.